Hello there, Star Wars fans. Henry Gilroy, the head writer of Star Wars Rebels, was part of an interesting farewell to Star Wars Rebels panel at Dragon Con this year. And thanks to Thomas Harper's coverage on Twitter, I've been able to piece together some reveals from the panel. But first, I'm Mike, and I want to welcome you back to Star Wars Speculation, where we are building a community of creative people who love to share theories and speculation on upcoming Star Wars releases. So join our community today by answering the question of the day at the end of the video. But let's get right into the panel. Producer and head writer of Star Wars Rebels, Henry Gilroy, shared at the panel that he pitched a story about Inquisitors in Season 3, but they ended up wanting to focus on Maul's final arc, which makes sense, but he also gave us more details about how the Inquisitors were recruited. He mentioned Jedi chosen to be Inquisitors were chosen ahead of time and not killed. Palpatine likely kept an eye out for Jedi who were perhaps too aggressive, jealous, power-hungry, etc. He then played on those human flaws. To me, this is fascinating. It just shows the extra level of planning and detail that went into Palpatine's plan surrounding Order 66. It would be really cool if we see hints of him recruiting Jedi during Season 7 of The Clone Wars. The former Rebels writer also revealed during the panel that there were no initial plans to go to Mandalore until it became clear they needed to based on where the story was going. This statement left me wondering whether Sabine's character growth was what took them to Mandalore or if it was more about how they included Maul and so they wanted to use the chance to return the Darksaber to Mandalore. I'm assuming a little of both, but it's interesting to see how the story of Rebels evolved over time and gives hope that this same will happen to Star Wars Resistance. Another interesting reveal from the panel was that a lot of World Between Worlds was built upon Dave's conversations with George. The World Between Worlds is more of an intersection of the living and cosmic force, but explaining it totally takes the mysticism out of it. It's a way of broadening the mysticism of the force without grounding it in science. And it sure has broadened our knowledge of the Force. The introduction of the Loth Wolves and the World Between Worlds in Star Wars Rebels is something I didn't see coming in earlier seasons, and it gives me hope that something similar might be coming in Star Wars Resistance, or even in Season 7 of The Clone Wars. Remember, Dave Filoni does have the background artwork on Twitter that shows a Soken Rex riding a wolf. Another interesting comment from Gilroy was that he had the sense if someone else went to the world between worlds, they'd have their own unique experience and probably hear different voices. Which I suppose is just his own speculation, but again, maybe we might see Ahsoka interacting with the world between worlds at some point, and it would be totally different. Henry Gilroy mentioned that he thought it was interesting that a city boy like Ezra has this natural connection to animals and eventually becomes a much more empathetic character. His last name literally connects to his role in bringing folks together. This is probably my favorite comment from the entire panel. Just think of the season finale's title, Family Reunion and Farewell. There really never would have been this extended family if it wasn't for Ezra. He was the only one that trusted Hondo. He helped Kanan connect with the clone characters. And of course, his connection to the Purgle and the Wolves saved the day in the end. With all these examples, I can't believe I didn't realize the connection to Ezra Bridger's last name. That said, what did you think of some of Gilroy's comments? Be sure to follow Thomas Harper on Twitter. And for the question of the day, let me know if you think we might still get any Star Wars Rebels spinoffs. And as always, thanks for watching Star Wars Speculation, and may the Force be with you.